This video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked, the fastest and easiest way to test your hormones right at home. What is up guys and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best and safest stack for fat loss. Now the great thing about this stack, about these compounds, is that they are not going to activate your androgen receptors and therefore do not require a PCT. So you can keep your natty status or you could do this in between a cycle and you will be just fine. Now keep in mind that this is not going to be the only stack for fat loss. I say best, all right, because I wanted to suck you in and I wanted you to watch the video. This is gonna be a great stack, but it's not gonna be the only one. It's just compounds that I personally like and compounds that I have had really good success with in the past and currently right now in the present. There are gonna be other options that aren't gonna activate your androgen receptors, such as clenbuterol, T3, you know, crazy ones like DNP, but I wanted to keep this safe. I wanted to keep this to where most people can do this stack. Also wanted to keep it where it wouldn't blow your heart up, but also be readily available. And speaking of readily available, if you're interested in doing your own research when it comes to peptides, SARMs, or SARM like compounds, be sure to click the second link down in the description box below. That'll take you to my guys over at beyond-research.com where you can purchase peptides, liquid SARMs, and SARM-like compounds, including every single compound you see in this video. And you can also purchase the sterile water needed to reconstitute these peptides. Be sure to use my code ANK10 for 10% off. And if you buy two or more liquid SARMs, you automatically get $5 off. And yes, you can stack my code with that deal. If you're wanting SARM capsules or capsules in like Carterine, MK677, compounds like that, you do still have to call Beyond Max info right there on the screen and all the info is down in the description box below. Great people, high quality, same day shipping if you order before 3 p.m. Eastern time and the best customer service in the game. If you have any questions about Beyond Research, Beyond Max, this video or really anything else, just shoot me an email, anchorandfitness at gmail.com and I'll get you straight. If you want a more in-depth explanation of all these compounds, I've already done videos on them. All you have to do is search my channel and they are there. So I'm just gonna kind of tell you what they do, why I chose them, and a general dosage and cycle length. All right, number one is going to be a part of the SARM family. Good old fashioned carterine, otherwise known as GW501516. I've talked about carterine a number of times on my channel. I personally love it. It is phenomenal at boosting your cardiovascular endurance, and it just makes your cardio so much easier, almost effortless. If any of you guys have taken carterine before, you just breeze through your cardio. Anytime you can make your cardio easier, you are going to be more inclined to do it. And in turn, that results to more fat loss. The worst part about cardio is the fact that you just have to fucking do it. It's 20 minutes out of your day, it's not very long, but just the thought of having to do cardio is fucking terrible. Cardarine will make that easier. It can also raise your metabolism and improve your insulin sensitivity, along with balancing out your cholesterol. It can raise your good and lower your bad. That right there is a recipe for fat loss, if you ask me. Dosage is pretty simple, 20 milligrams per day, 10 milligrams in the morning, 10 milligrams at night, and you can run that upwards of 16 weeks, but 12 weeks is gonna kinda be that sweet spot. Most of you know the symptoms of low testosterone. If your hormones are out of whack or declining, you are going to struggle to lose weight, put on lean muscle, and really just operate from day to day. So if you haven't had a comprehensive test of your male hormones lately, or if you've never had one, then let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Let's Get Checked. If you're looking for an easy and cost-effective way to check your testosterone, SHGB, and other important male hormone levels, then my good friends over at Let's Get Checked can help. They're a worldwide leader in at-home testing kits, and they let you easily check your testosterone from the comfort of your own home. All you have to do is click the very first link in the description box below, choose your test, and it will come the very next day in discreet packaging. Collect your sample and return it using the shipping label provided, and your results will be available within two to five days. A nurse will then contact you once the physician has reviewed them, and they will set up a phone consultation to answer any and all of your questions. It's never been this easy to get your hormones checked. Get tested at home and use my special promo code ANCRUM for 30% off. Thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. And heads up guys, if you use my link, 
I get paid. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Number two is going to be HGH frag 176-191. This particular fragment of HGH is gonna be the one that is responsible for burning fat. So if you have HGH as a whole, if you have all those amino acids that are in human growth hormone, what HGH frag is, they essentially pulled out the portion that is fat loss of HGH. So you're getting just that um, particular chain of amino acids that is set to burn fat. And unlike synthetic HGH, FRAG176 won't impact your insulin levels, your blood sugar, or result in any water retention or cell proliferation. Now, clinical trials have shown that FRAG176 can be upwards of 12 times stronger than HGH when it comes to burning fat. It is shown in some instances to be 12 times stronger when it comes to burning fat than regular old HGH. Like I said, you're essentially taking the best fat loss part of HGH in a more optimized way. Now, a typical injection of HGH FRAG is gonna be 300 micrograms two to three times per day. And I would also advise you to take it on an empty stomach, no eating one hour before, and no eating one hour after. The easiest way to do that, because three times per day is gonna be a lot. Um, especially if you have a nine to five, you're not gonna take you know an insulin needle to work. So you can do it twice per day. I would just say, wake up, do your shot, wait an hour, and then have breakfast, and then do it after dinner at least an hour and then do that right before bed. That's gonna be the best time to do it. That's gonna be the easiest timing to do it. You do have to take it for a decent amount of time, at least 12 weeks, but no more than 24 weeks. After that, you come off for four or five weeks and then you can jump back on it. Number three is going to be ipamorelin, ipamorelin, ipamorelin. One of those pronunciations. <laughs> Ipamorelin is one of many GHRPs, growth hormone releasing peptide. It essentially stimulates the pituitary gland to release more growth hormone. An increase in natural GH will assist in shelling nutrients, building lean muscle, and promoting fat loss. Now, Ipamorelin is said to be the best and the safest of any GHRP out there. If you guys watch my channel, whether it's MK677, whether it's CJC, um, or any of the many growth hormone releasing peptides, this is said to be the one that is the safest and the most efficient. They make this claim because it stimulates GH without having any additional effect on prolactin or cortisol. And it will also not raise your appetite like um, a GHRP like MK677. If you guys have taken MK677, that appetite um, increase is for a lot of people, too hard to handle. It was way too much for me, but with ipamorelin, you do not have to worry about that effect. It can help with fat loss, increase in metabolism, and even improvement in body composition. Dosing is gonna be just like HGH frag. It is recommended to take 300 micrograms two to three times per day on an empty stomach. No eating one hour before and no eating one hour after. Just like HGH frag, you don't have to take it three times a day twice a day, one in the morning, one at night before bed, and you are done. And a standard cycle is between 12 and 24 weeks. Now, a few notes for you guys about this stack. Um, you don't have to do all three, you don't have to do two. You can do one, you can do two, you can do all three. Cherry pick whichever ones you want. If you guys have experience with these compounds, just do the ones that you like. If you don't like one of these, then don't do it. Um, this isn't like you have to do three or four or five. Do whatever you want, it's completely up to you. All of these uh, compounds, whether it's SARMs, whether it's peptides, whether it's um, anabolics, they affect everyone differently. The thing is with a lot of this stuff is you go really slow, you figure out what you like, what your body doesn't like, and you go from there. You can always interchange other GHRPs or SARM-like compounds. Say you like stenobolic, then you could do stenobolic instead of carterine, or you could even throw that one in there too. That's okay. And a lot of you guys have been asking this, you can mix all these up into one syringe. That's perfectly fine. If you do have quite a bit of liquid, I would just say try to do two shots. You can stick with the same needle. You just do one in one side, one in the other side, and that's okay. You don't have to have a different shot for all of these different peptides. Just mix it into one. But if you have, say, a whole ML, just try to spread it around at least into two sites. Like I said, be sure to check out my channel where I already have videos on these three compounds and I go more in depth. I explain the side effects. I explain all the benefits, need to know, cycles, dosage, all of that stuff. They are all on my channel. You just have to search. I do have playlists for peptides, for SARM, the SARM series, all that stuff. They are very easy to find. So make sure you check those out. I also have a SARM and anabolic guide for you guys that 
kind of want everything in a nice PDF form. I don't have a peptide guide. I probably won't do one. I just don't have the time. But SARMs, the anabolics, uh, it's down in my description box. I forget which link it is. I think if you buy the stack, it's like $70 and you get both guides. That's the best deal. You save some money and you get to learn some stuff in the process. Don't forget to check out Beyond Research if you wanna do your research right at home. And thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. Leave me a comment down below, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys at the next. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you guys at the next video. See you guys.